Hello Andrew, greetings from England. This is the right reagent, this is the right indicator used for the alkalinity titration. So I'm going to show you the, the colour change when you add the acid to the cave water. This is bromocresol green. So now I've opened up a sachet, I'm going to add it to the water. And my able assistant here is going to zoom in and show you the colour when we add it to the water. And you can see it goes a nice green colour. Okay, so I just mix, mix it up. And that's the starting colour, and it's this nice um, tree leaf green. So I've, I've already set up the digital titrator. I've got the acid attached, I've got the little tube which feeds the acid, and I've expelled the air as I showed you first of all, so the acid will come out as soon as you start rotating the, the gauge. I'm going to zero the gauge, so it reads zero, 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 and then Swirling the water, I'm going to start adding the acid. Now this is going to take a little while, and nothing's much. This isn't cave water. This is water from our kitchen tap. And you'll see, as you add the acid, it will gradually begin to turn pink. And you want to keep adding acid very, very gently until it completely turns pink. And this will take a little while to add. So I'm going to add a little bit of. I'm just going to add a little bit of acid all in one go. And you're able to see this. Can you see the streaks of pink which come out of the which come where the acid mixes with the water at the end of the tube? And it's just beginning to form now. I'm just adding it a lot in one go because you know you may have seen a flash of pink there, and that's very close to the end point, adding a little bit more. And it flashes pink and goes back to green. Add a little bit more. Still staying green. Add a little bit more. Still staying green. A little bit more. And it's getting quite close now. Saw a flash pink there, I hope. But it keeps going back to green as soon as you stir it. And as we get close, the longer it stays pink before it goes back to green, that's telling you that it's very close to the end point. So I'm adding this little tiny amount of acid now, and it almost stayed pink then. A little bit more. And the colour you should go for is halfway between the green and the pink, which sometimes looks a grey colour. You need, to go this in, you need to do this in good light with a piece of white paper as a background. And the trick to getting consistent results is to always do this so that you get the same colour every time you do this uh, titration. And it's nearly staying pink. nearly staying pink. You can see how it goes back to green and then it very nearly you can see the greenness is going now and it's actually turning a grey colour and I'm just turning it a few numbers at a time and at this point I would make a note of the reading and write it down and then keep going until it turns a definite pink and we've almost turned pink. Now that, that's the end point now, and that's the grey colour of the end point. If I add any more acid, it'll stay pink. And there's the pink colour. So um, that's the reading you want to measure off the titrator, and it's 451 I'm reading now. If I add more acid still, it would go a very bright pink. And if you go to that colour, you can see it's a very bright pink now, you've gone too far. And the transition from green to grey is only a few units on the titrator, and the, tra and the transition from grey to bright pink, which is too far, is again only a few units. So it's very, very quick when it happens, and only a small amount of acid added to it will make the change from green to pink. So that's how it's done. 
and my able assistant will show you what it's like in Hampshire. And I'll say hello, and you can look at the garden outside, and look at our living room. And our old piano. <laughs> and that's it. And I'll say cheerio. And uh, hopefully see you next year. Bye.